Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. So apologies for my last video. I had to record it again because the sound was awful. And what I was really talking about was BlackRock and their investment into a 100 billion, started off initially 30 billion fund launch with Microsoft. And this is incredibly bullish. This happened with a massive investment sovereign fund in Abu Dhabi in the UAE. And we'll talk about the impact of several AI projects. And in addition to that, I wanted to talk about what Larry Fink said. But before I do that, how many Bitcoins do you own? Right. Look at this OG here. And the question of the day is, how many Bitcoins are you aspiring to own? Because at some point, we're not going to be left behind in this asset class. Because, you know, in our, in our later years, we're going to be rolling around like this bad boy here. But that's just the joke of the day, guys. So listen. Listen to this here. BlackRock CEO Larry Fink talk, talks about Bitcoin and where potentially it could go. I believe Bitcoin is legitimate. I'm not trying to say there's not that misuses like everything else, but it is a legitimate financial instrument that allows you to have maybe uncorrelated, non-correlated type of returns. I believe it is an instrument that you invest in when you're more frightened, though. It is an instrument when you believe that co countries are debasing their currency, de debasing their currency. This is incredibly bullish. An instrument you invest on when you're frightened. And this could be exactly the same thing as what, we ha what happens with our altcoins. Right now, a lot of people are scared. I just published an entire list of buys in the Discord, in the Patreon, and I am actually buying. I am incredibly bullish. I don't want to sit on the sidelines. I want to deploy my capital slowly, but surely I want to get buys into the market. Why? Because we are on the next phase at any moment. And of course, this BlackRock Global Infrastructure Partnership with Microsoft gives me more belief that AI and deep in projects will absolutely rock it. Now, I've talked about this a little bit. I think the video was okay. But the main takeaway was His Highness Sheikh Tanoum bin Zayed Al Nahyan, the chair of MGX, emphasized the importance of AI to future economies. Guys, if any of this filters through to, um, to crypto, then it's going to be incredibly bullish. Now, again, they reference, you know, Larry Fink says here, uh, BlackRock, and basically, in particular, data centers are the bedrock of digital uh, economies. And this is an investment opportunity at a global level to create jobs and drive AI technologies. So with that being said, I wanted to talk about some projects that I would that I see benefiting from this in the long term and some of the ones that I'm investing in right now. So let's start off with um, Solidius AI Tech. Now, AI Tech has been building a data center. We all know that at the current price of just under nine cents, just over eight cents, really. I think it's an incredible DCA buy today. Of course, you do you. It's not financial advice. But why do I think this project could benefit? They understood um, the viral element of marketing. Number one, that's what I want for the bull market. I want this to be listed on Binance eventually, right? And there is a talk that could happen. I can't promise that. But the data center alone to try and aim on a grand scale, something that can cater to the entire uh, European demand for AI computational power. However big or small that they achieve that, it's not the point. The main point here is they, they have the absolute essence to do really well. It's an AI and GPU marketplace. They are deflationary in their tokenomics. There's a token burn for every transaction. I think this one is one that should be in your portfolio, not financial advice. And it's still under $100 million. Team are working incredibly hard. They've got tons of partnerships. AI tech, I've just actually bought more AI tech today. And I couldn't care less where the market cap is right now because I know psychologically it's well under $100 million. Okay, so AI tech, considering what this article is referring to, and you've got the likes of Microsoft, BlackRock, NVIDIA, and NVIDIA is also mentioned in this article, and the founder actually accelerated computing and generative AI are driving growth for the need of AI infrastructure for next industrial revolution. Incredibly bullish. And this is all stuff that is happening right around us right now as we are afraid for the last dip. And I am going to keep some stable coins behind, but there isn't any need to uh, deploy my sta stable coins if they are not at for the best value having said that my purchases today indicate to me at least 
small DCA buys is the way you accumulate because we are on the cusp of the greatest bull run the world's ever seen. And many of us will be financially free post, um, uh, you know, post this bull market, you know, not even financial freedom. I think the target is to, you know, pay off your mortgage or send your kids to college. Whatever your target is, we'll be back in the next bear market. Having said that, you must have full confidence in that M2 money supply and block out the noise, focus on what your bag targets are, deploy DCA, and let's have a look what BlackRock means. So BlackRock already owned the likes of Amazon, Microsoft, ExxonMobil, Verizon, Pfizer, CNN, Fox News. There is an, a, an institution that I know of that BlackRock doesn't own. And uh, the majority of these big institutions coming into crypto makes us incredibly bullish. Now, the next project that I actually bought today, and I bought 50K of this, is the Lysium AGI. And the reason why I wanted to, first of all, I actually held this project for a very long time. I bought this at a very low four cents uh, before the end of last year. And as a community, I think most of us were up from that point. Having said that, the price is dipped. I sold a large bag that I was in profit with only last week, only to re-enter re re this again. And the reason why I wanted to re-enter this, $124 million market cap, and they already mentioned the likes of Microsoft and the likes of Google, NVIDIA. So these guys are actually in the right space to develop a very good AI project. Now, one criticism I had from this project was the utility itself. Uh, I, haven't, I haven't used any of the dApps yet. Okay, and Lucy obviously now Lucy is on a beta stage marketing Web3 accessible to anyone and uh right now there's there's a lot of uh a lot of things on the website having said that i haven't truly nailed down the utility as such but i don't care i think this gets a binance listing and this one will be a massive massive project moving forward the next project that i briefly talked about was cubic and cubic is a layer one ai with 55 million transfer uh, accidents per second they can prove this in the mainnet it will be incredible did I buy some more Cubic? Yes, I did. I bought about $3,000, $4,000 worth of Cubic today. I think it's undervalued. And at, at the moment, the price sits around $1,800 $1, per billion. You know, I bought a couple of billion um, and a half. And I'm comfortable with that investment because I think where there's risk, there's reward. This could potentially do anything. And in terms of them coming out publicly to do the uh to do the actual test um the private test publicly that's going to be incredible now they do have also a hash wallet which is a cold storage wallet where you can store your cubic they've got ai garth which is ai um ai garth is an ai running on top of the cubic network with the information of hundreds of thousands of cubic miners which will create a billions of artificial neural networks so this one is an interesting one i do i do have it and uh, I do think that along with based AI, uh, because based AI is probably the heaviest AI bag that I have. Now, based AI itself is it's just like um, this is the one project that I've seen having Bitenso Tau shaking its boots. And the reason for that is the uh, ability to actually have a better technology than Bitenso. And overall, you've got multi industrial applications being built here whether it's healthcare data mining, these guys know exactly what they're doing. And the overall perception is based AI should be one of the bigger projects in this cycle for AI. Now, the, it's a layer one, first of all. It's an L1 mainnet. It has ZK knowledge. It is fully homomorphic encryption. It has uh, what, what they call the Cer Cerberus squeezing, which is absolutely incredible. When you consider the ZK LLMs, and the fact that these guys actually have, just like uh, Tau subnets, they have their brains. And of course, they are developing a unique language learning model, which uses, um, of course, the process of NLP. And in addition to that, guys, this also includes transactions. So this is a huge, huge AI project that has a real world use case. It has big backing. I think there's getting more listings. This is the one project that I think out of all my AI projects that I don't actually know how high it could go, but it will go into the multiple billions. I can't say exactly what the X's returns are, 
but I can see 20x and upwards quite comfortably. So I have been building a an, uh, a massive bag here and I'll continue to DCA in even at $4. It's way, way undervalued. I think it has the network effect. And by the time they start burning the Pepe, uh, Pepe coins for based AI, this is a fully diluted 34, 35 million token project. And overall, I love this tweet because this kind of summarizes what based AI is. It combines the centralized AI EVM uh, smart contracts and it's basically the massive difference that sets it apart from both Render and Tal, which lack that functionality. It allows AI models to be tokenized, enabling dApps and new possibilities. This is very bullish. Another project that I've been uh, looking at, I haven't actually pulled the trigger yet, but I had this back in March, April last year. Then I sold it, went out of my change EBT, but under $100 million, it's actually a smaller market cap than both AI Tech and AGI. Chain GBT, I think, has been one of the most successful launch pads in this entire run. I think this one's going to do really well. And I may get back into, in fact, where it is right now. It's not a bad price. But if it dips under 10 cents, if we get any further dips on this one, I will absolutely get a rocking bag. All right. And, you know, you, you only have to see some of the projects they've launched to fully appreciate what, you know, what this project is capable of. I mean, from where it is right now, a 10x will put this around that 60, 600 million, 700 million in market cap. I think this gets to a couple of billion, if not more. Change EBT will attract money in this cycle, and you've got to keep that in your radar. Another one that I haven't pulled the trigger on, and of course, I've been looking at it, is PAL AI. Now, the thing about PAL AI is one of the few AI projects that have a real use case. You can see here the PAL AI chat. You can actually ask questions. You can generate images. Uh, AI researcher, ask me anything. So you can say, for example, uh, which is the, um, tell me about, let's see what it comes back with. Um, so you can actually use the, the agents to I'm here to provide information, insights about crypto projects, but unfortunately, there isn't a specific information about SUI crypto. Uh, please provide the context. So look, you can generate images here. You can ask questions. And the use case, I think, is one of the best uh, use cases I've seen in crypto so far. And I will be diving deep into this to see if I can actually take a good entry, especially if we can have this 10x smarter bots. I know one of my friends, um, Big Up Yourself, who's who's actually using this right now uh, to conduct various different activities within crypto. So Pal AI is another one that you need to have a look. So I went further, guys. I wanted to kind of like this BlackRock here, this this wallet is pretty misleading because what happens is Black, BlackRock have a wallet where all the DGENs can actually track. But the problem is these wallets actually are just airdrops that are given to BlackRock. So people naturally think BlackRock actually hold all of these projects. And as, as far as I know, a lot of these are actually airdrops. And uh, I haven't actually spotted any big AI projects that they are invested in, but I can tell you right now, the ones that I've mentioned so far look like they are pretty decent. Now, in addition to these, I wanted to also talk about a, project, a few other projects for you. One is Sharp AI. Now, obviously, this is coming out of Animoca Brands. The Sharp AI token has been completely, you know, obviously hit by this vesting schedule. The circulation is not really the best. Having said that, if this actually, it bottomed out anyway, but I think it will continue to dump a little bit more. I wouldn't mind taking a position. Now, what is Sharp AI? Sharp AI is a super app that is geared towards um, basically crypto research. So AI uh fronted for intelligence tracking and investing in digital assets and of course when you've got such backers it's inevitable that it catches a pretty good win now top integrations are already plenty there's about 200,000 users of this application right now or 150,000 users tracking over 200,000 cryptos that's pretty good and you can see here if obviously comprehend uh, comprehensive super apps although these ha these haven't actually done well uh, in my opinion, you know, uh, GTA AI, AI is a super app and there, there are a few more. Having said that, I would definitely keep this on my watch list. 
I haven't pulled the trigger yet, but there will be a point where I will have to take a position on this. 150,000 users, 200,000 tokens tracked, uh, four terabytes plus of data processed and 25 chains integrated. I think it's worth watching considering that it's got creme de la creme of AI backers. Now, if we step outside of that and we need to have dual, um, a more DGEN plays, I would look no further than AGC, right? Argo coin is here. Argo coin AGC is an absolute DGEN, $9 million market cap. It is a layer one of a slightly big magnitude. The prices have absolutely capitulated but it's that's because it's it came from uniswap and it's now only listed on uh two two small exchanges mexi being where it does all its a volume of around hundred thousand now of course all the liquidity is in mexi right now and agc or devolve ai is one that could go insane having you know being a layer one if it's marketed properly but it's very much on the riskier side i would say put that into your watch list if you're looking for a dgen play in addition to that in addition to that, I would also recommend a few other projects. Uh, one of them being, uh, if I look at OFN, this is very risky. OFN is a layer one uh, AI project that is under $10 million. This was doing really well. Prices have crashed completely. And of course, this is a project that is a layer one. Again, I don't own it. And uh, it's only for you DGENs if you're looking for a layer one that is a undervalued immensely so this could be printing in an ai narrative all right if we continue i would now go to some of the dual tokens for ai and other applications now the one that i have the most conviction in is aether aether right now is just under six cents i bought some more today and i think aether is a sleeping giant of course the market cap is already huge 200 million dollars first in schedule is not that bad overall but there is a heavy dilution especially if you hold this beyond uh towards the end of 2025 which i don't plan to do i think this one will print and it will go heavy now why do i like this one they have two very good applications of ai and gaming solutions and uh, they've got something called ai earth which is geared towards ai and of course, optimized for AI in terms of their agents, localized uh, interference for for uh, lower latency. This is very bullish, guys. This already has more revenue generating than any other deep in project in the entire space. So when you look at $200 million, two, even $2 billion is not where this could go. This could go to the multiple billions of dollars. I don't think you should fade Aether because of the market cap. I think Aether has tremendous upside because it is also the only project that i know that partners with nvidia for industrial grade gpus now in addition to that enabling gaming without limits aether's uh, cloud gaming platform is something to worth considering because aether has if gaming and ai are two narratives that will do well as well as deepen i think aether could take off really really nicely all right another project that is pretty decent AI and gaming is Echelon Prime. Now, most of you, of course, will say, oh, it's already $300 million in market cap. Yes, it is. Smart money is in this. And again, if you're looking for a decent project that could do 10 to about 20x, this is a one that I would recommend. I do hold this, uh, by the way, just to be transparent. But this tackles, um, you know, this is an AI. This will rip big money. Smart money will be buying Aether under ten dollars and i think it's one that you need to have in your in your kind of um in your radar now in addition to that of course there are tons of other small ai projects that we can't go through here but if you are considering entering these ai projects is it a good time to buy now my answer is yes however don't go all in that's always been my me message that's pretty consistent do not go all in right now because you will get wrecked. The reason why, if there's any um, dips in the market, you're able to take advantage and you are able to secure even more value out of your bag. So guys, look, we go back to this. We're going to make money this cycle. BlackRock have already come out and said, look, you know, you buy this crypto. I mean, he's talking about Bitcoin, but you definitely buy crypto when you're scared. But one thing that's never, ever going to go is the bull market is here. So, 
the psychology is right now, do we buy versus do we hold? I would say I do what I do, which is I buy crypto based on my own personal valuation of where I think I can get out of as opposed to, you know, and in addition to that, where I enter. So I have bought tons of crypto today, $25,000 worth into DCA in small buys spreading across to a number of different projects. And those projects you can bet are in AI uh, predominantly. All right, guys. Anyway, uh, let me know what you're buying, what you're selling. And again, thank you for tuning in and I'll catch you on the next one. Take care, guys.